Hey fellas, it's Key here from Kegland, and just talking to you about beer line today, and I want to talk to you particularly about why we use Ever Barrier beer line in almost all our systems these days. I know a lot of people ask us from time to time, how come you don't have that flexible vinyl tubing, this clear stuff, which sort of, you know, it's very flexible, easy to get on the barbs, it's quite stretchy, and a lot of people think, oh, that's, that's fantastic. But in reality, we're trying to phase out of uh, this type of uh, PVC uh, or vinyl tubing, essentially, and mainly because all vinyl tubings contain plasticizers. You see, when you get vinyl itself as a raw material, it looks sort of like this. It's quite a clear material. Sometimes it has a blue tint like this. Sometimes it looks a little bit clearer. When you extrude this material, it becomes these tubes like that. Uh, well, in this particular diet became a tube anyway. And as you can see, you can't bend it. It's really rigid. So in order for us to get vinyl and make it into a useful beer line, we have to actually add quite a lot of plasticizers to it so it can be you know, flexible and pliable like that. And really, there's been a lot of bad media about things like BPA, which is one of the plasticizers which is uh, known to have uh, detrimental effects to human health. It's basically an endos endocrine disruptor. It, it, it sort of is very, very close in its shape to, uh, to estrogen. And um, you know, if you're planning on having kids in the future, it's not really something you want in there. But the problem is people are now substituting BPA for other types of plasticizers, and a lot of them are equally bad as each other. The plasticizers uh, eventually come out of the hose and come into the beverage. Now, if you've got really good quality plasticizers, they come out at a very slow rate. And if you've got you know, really poor quality plasticizers, sometimes they come out really fast. But all vinyl contains plasticizers, and that's one of the reasons we wanted to stay away from them. So that's why you hardly see any, any vinyl tubing or any vinyl products really in, in our range of products that we sell. Ever Barrier tubing on the other hand, it's made with uh, a couple of different types of uh, polymers. We need to use two different types of polymers because we have a double wall layer and really we wanna get different properties from the different types of polymers. The outer layer works really well uh, because it's very easy for us to control very tight tolerance on the outside diameter, meaning it's fantastic for things like push-in fittings and stuff like that. So we can get a good reliable seal on all things like our duo type fittings. The other thing is uh, the inner wall, we wanna have a very, very smooth inner wall so we don't get things like bacteria and stuff like that growing in the inner wall of the tubing itself. So that's the other reason. And thirdly, the reason why I've chose the particular polymers that we have chosen is because we wanna have very high um, gas barrier properties. So beer in particular is a very uh, you know, oxygen sensitive product. And because we have a reasonable amount of beer sitting in line sometimes, uh, we don't really wanna have oxygen come through the side wall of the beer line into the beverage and reducing the quality of the beverage. Uh, similarly, we don't want CO2 coming out of the beverage and escaping the beer line. If you have really poor quality beer line, and you sometimes see this with uh, polyethylene beer line, which we don't sell, but if you have really poor quality beer line, you may even notice if the beer sits in the lines for a while, it actually can start to go a bit flat. And actually that's because it has a noticeable CO2 loss of sitting in the beer line if it's not a really high spec. So yeah, the Ever Barrier beer line is really uh, what we'd recommend for those reasons. Uh, yeah, we label the beer line as well with 50 centimeter increments on it. So you can actually see that. So you might find that kind of handy as well. Um, and you can see uh, every time we have this 50 centimeter print on the side, which is basically 20 inches, uh, you can use that to measure it. So I know that I've got you know, half a meter there. And then if I uh, go to the next one, I've got one and a half, I've got basically one whole meter there. So uh, you know, it makes it really, really easy to measure. But anyway, that's more or less why we use the EVA Ever Barrier uh, tubing. Uh, if you've got any other questions or want to know any other specifications or got some more information you'd like to us to include in the next video, just let us know. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, bottom right hand corner there. And if you want to keep in touch with us uh, on Facebook, just definitely join our Facebook group. It's also where we have a lot of discount codes and stuff like that. All right, thanks for that, guys. Hope to talk to you next time. See ya.